Hi everyone, welcome to our fourth circuit of the year. Now, if you weren't with us in class when we went over some of these exercises, you should probably review this circuit before you try to complete it. Now, you're gonna need a couple things to make this work. You're gonna need two chairs that do not have wheels, so four solid chairs with legs. You're also gonna need a solid broomstick, like metal or wood. This has to be able to support your body weight. So this would work in something that most of you should have around the house. Even better, if you have a barbell, use that. Okay, now in this circuit, we're gonna be going over cross body mountain climbers. We're gonna do a chair step up to balance. We're gonna do a Russian twist, push up to side plank, modified pull-ups, and swimmers. Now in a few of these exercises, I'm gonna do a modified version the first time through, and then I'm gonna show you a more challenging version the second time through for my advanced learners who are starting to get pretty strong. All right, let's get it started. All right, everybody, we're starting off with the crossbody mountain climbers. Start by holding a plank position, then bring your right knee towards the left elbow, twisting your body, and then left knee to right elbow. Just keep switching back and forth. You got it. Remember to keep looking at the ground. Good job. All right, time to rest. We'll have a 15 second rest period between each exercise period. Next up is gonna be the chair step up to balance. So get that chair ready. All right, everybody, here we go. Just step up onto the chair. Make sure not to use your arms. Keep your back straight and step in the middle of the chair for your own balance and so the chair does not topple over. Make sure you're alternating legs, right leg, then left leg. Great job, everybody. Let's get those legs strong. Hamstrings, quadriceps, gluteus maximus. All right, rest time. Next up will be the Russian twist. Go ahead and take a seated position. All right, here we go. All we're gonna do is try and twist side to side, maintain that V body position. If you can keep your feet off the ground, that's best. Try to keep your feet as stable as possible. The modification is put your feet on the ground. We're working all core here, abdominal muscles, obliques, and lower back muscles. You got it. Right, rest time. Next up, we're going to push up to modified side plank. All right, let's start in that push up position. We're gonna do one push up, then rotate towards the side. You're gonna try and get your arms straight up in the air. And again, this is a modified side plank. You'll notice my feet are separated in this version. In the next version, I'll do a true side plank. Now for further modification, if you're struggling with this, you can also do it from your knees in the modified push-up position. Rest time. Next up will be the modified pull-up, so make sure your chairs are ready with the bar across. We're gonna lay down on the floor facing the bar. the modified pull up, grab the bar. We're gonna try and raise our body towards the bar. Now in this version, my knees are bent. That makes this a little bit easier. We're looking, working our latissimus dorsi here, back muscles, and raise and lower yourself. Now if your chairs are a little bit short, you can also just hold yourself in the elevated position at the top. Rest time. Next up, we're going swimming. We'll be laying on the floor for this one, prone. All right, for swimmers, we stay facing the floor. We're gonna lift our opposite arm and leg up. So right arm, left leg, pause for a brief second or two at the top, then switch to left arm and right leg. Here you'll feel your lower back muscles 
hamstrings, and gluteus maximus. Keep swimming. All right, rest time. That's the end of the first round of the circuit. We'll be starting back at the top with crossbody mountain climbers. Get ready. All right, here we go. Back to the crossbody mountain climbers. Right knee to left elbow and vice versa. And we're working four here. Obliques, abdominals, and lower back muscles. We're also increasing our upper body strength. Now as you start getting the process down, you can start increasing your speed. But form comes first. Good job everybody. Okay. Alright, it's rest time. Next up is going to be the chair step ups. Now this time I'll be making the modification of using weights. This should only be attempted if you're getting very strong and having an easier time with the regular version. All right, here we go. So you'll notice this time I'm holding weights in each hand, but my form is exactly the same. Back is still straight. I'm stepping on the middle of the chair each time, and I'm raising my opposite leg to a balanced position. You got it. It's rest time. Next up, back to the Russian twist. All right, here we go. Again, feet elevated is the proper way to do these. If you need to modify it, go ahead and put your feet on the ground. Either way, you're working your core. Good idea is to start with your feet elevated, and if you need to modify, you modify halfway through or whenever you need to. Good job. All right, it's time to rest. Next up, we'll be going back to the push-up to a true side plank this time. So this time you'll notice I'll have my feet stacked in a true side plank will be much tougher. All right, here we go. Again, push up, then rotate into a side plank. Again, my feet are stacked here, so this is the most difficult version of this. Modify it as you need to, with feet separated or from a kneeling position. Either way, we're getting a stronger pectoralis major, along with our triceps, and working the core as well. Rest time, everybody. This will be our last time on the modified pull-up. So again, you'll be laying down facing the ceiling. This time I'll keep my legs straight to increase the difficulty. All right, here we go. Back to the modified pull-up. Again, raise your body towards the bar. Again, legs straight is the more difficult version of this. If you elevate your feet, it can be even more difficult. If you need to make it easier, bring your knees in. Hold in an isometric fashion at the top. Working latissimus dorsi. Strong back, everyone. Rest time. All right, this is the last exercise of the rotation coming up of this circuit. We're going to go back to the swimmers. All right, here we go. Lay prone. Again, just lift your right arm and left leg. Try and keep them relatively straight. Pointing straight forward and straight back. If you want to modify this, you can increase your hold time at each position or continue for one to two seconds as we are here. Good job, everybody. We're almost there. Great job today on completing the circuit. Now, as you continue to practice this circuit and you continue to build your muscular strength and endurance, 
try doing the more challenging version of the exercises that I showed you. Now also remember that two times through only took us about nine minutes and we should be active at least 60 minutes of every day. And the more of that activity time you can dedicate towards doing things that build not only your muscular strength and endurance, but your aerobic capacity, which is the great thing about circuits that does both at the same time, the better off that you're going to be, the healthier and stronger you're going to be. Another good idea, aside from doing this one again, would be to start combining the circuits that you know. Combine circuit one and four, or circuit two and three, or any combination of these, and make sure you're doing this type of activity at least three to four days a week. The more, the better. All right, that's it for today, everybody. I'll see you next time.